Ladies and gentlemen, my name is H.A. Goodman. I'm a Jewish American, and I've been published in the Jerusalem Post. One of my articles, two of my articles, actually address Donald Trump and the fact that his words do not compel people to commit anti-Semitic or criminal acts, and AOC, and how her words distorted historical record. I oppose bigotry, and I debated and defeated in the debate Richard Spencer. That's on my website and on my channel, on this channel, H.A. Goodman. Hit subscribe. The last 20 minutes of that debate with Mr. Spencer, you can understand how I defeated him and his ideology. I'm going to give my viewpoint on what Kanye West did tonight. I feel for him. I think that he's been hurt. I think that he's been um, treated terribly by people around him. What what happened is there happened to be people of my faith. There happened to be people of my background in the industries, fashion or Hollywood, or banking that he's in or that he worked with. There were also Christians and other religions and other nationalities and African Americans as well. Okay, you can look at, um, you can, there's an interview of Larry Holmes talking about Don King and how he fought for just a couple of hundred dollars in one year. It's not the individual within the industry, it's the industry itself. Kanye West is in an industry where, yes, talent is taken advantage of just like the boxing game. Don King, for example, is not known as a very honest person by Mike Tyson or Larry Holmes or others. Within these clips, you'll see that Kanye West, or Ye, makes leaps of logic that make no sense. He says, well, you could talk about uh, the African-American vote. Why can't you talk about all the people that went after me? Well, th there's also a Latino vote. There's also an evangelical vote. There's also a vote of people of my background. So there's a, yeah, demographic, uh, demographics are... Uh, addressed in voting blocks, yes, that has absolutely nothing to do with what Kanye West is saying. All people caused him, all of the people of my background or faith caused him pain. Now, I support Donald Trump. Um, the religious Jewish people that I know in my family and in like, you know, through like friends, they love Donald Trump. Most people in Israel love Donald Trump. Okay. The media, you have like some truth. Here's what's difficult for media to understand. A person like Kanye West will talk about you know, certain policies or certain philosophy that makes sense to a lot of people, that, that, it, that is indeed rational, and then he'll mix it up with absurd leaps of logic or leaps of logic that don't make sense because he's hurt. So I understand people have hurt him. Ye or Kanye West should know, not that he would care, that people have written hit pieces on me that are also of my background. I don't say that people of my faith have gone after me. Okay? So, I have also received hit pieces, but, that, but the fact that the journalist happens to be the same religion as me doesn't mean that my entire religion is going after me, H.A. Goodman. So, let's just go ahead and watch this. And you will see some leaps of logic that is the basis of anti-Semitism. Also, the basis of democratic politics today um, and uh, the culture uh, of social media culture, especially when it was run before Elon Musk. And I'll explain that further. But this is Tim Pool and Kanye West. You can listen to... A couple of the leaps of logic here. Judaism? Well, let's look at the facts of what I'm saying, though. If you say in this neighborhood where they gerrymander, there's this amount of time. So, hey, I wasn't doing that. I was just gerrymandering the lawyers and the Hollywood executives and the people at the bank that debanked me and then froze my accounts. You know, it's like we want to jump into protecting the idea that we can't put a net around something, right? But if you put a net around something, Ye or uh, Kanye, if you put a net around something, you are blaming me, H.A. Goodman. You're blaming 
um, Jewish people who have been your friends. You're blaming people of my background who had nothing to do. You're blaming the 99.9% .9 of people. Um, there aren't many Jewish people on the planet. So there's something like maybe, uh, what is it like? It's, it's less than 15 million. Okay. So you are going to blame 15 million, less than 15 million people for your suffering. I mean, you're going to blame 15, millions of people, okay, for your suffering. And so that makes no sense. There aren't 15 million people. I just you know, looked, looked up. I was right. So here. So there's 14.8 by one estimate. Okay. So you, you're not putting a net around anything other than ignorance. And... You're not helping anyone and you're not helping your cause. And so this is a person who's been wronged and he's been hurt. And then he, like somebody who's been wronged and hurt, found this this person, this other person. Or, and then Milo Yiannopoulos brought up like, not, like no point at all. He said, oh, well, this has finally come to a conclusion where um, we're going to talk about how, you know, the, these topics are finally being discussed. What topic? And then they say, well, you talk about this, this type of people, you talk about that type of people. Um, and if, it's in, if there's ignorant statements spoken about any group of people, that's wrong. So what is the point there? The point is that I'm Jewish. I never met Kanye West or Ye. I have nothing to do with the people who have tried to hurt him. 99.9% .9 of the Jewish people of the 15 million people on this planet who are of my faith, have nothing to do with Kanye West or Ye's life. So if he's casting a net, that is exactly how you had 1.5 million Jewish children who were, not, who were murdered along with 6 million of the people of my faith, abs just in the most murdered. In the, I, I'm trying to like, <laughs> YouTube policies, you can't speak, but you're taking... You're, you're taking the logic that causes a genocide and you're using it to explain your hurt and pain. It, it makes no sense because that's how, that's what people do when they want to, when he's casting a net on everybody, he is blaming everyone for the sins of a few and that's not right. But that's been my job as a producer to take, uh, you know, a Roy, Roy Ayer sample, sample and put a James, put a James, James Brown, Brown drum, drum and, put and put it within a two-minute, two, two two three-minute three song. song. That's, that's the, the way I actually think, think and, that's and that's the way, the way I, talk. I talk. And now, and now this, this morning, morning, I found, I found out, out that, that they were trying, were trying to, put to put me in prison. In prison. Be but I wasn't. I wasn't trying to put Ye in prison. Because what they did was... Uh, I, put, I, moved I moved 140, 140 million dollars into uh, JP Morgan, Morgan. And, I and I said, "I want to talk, to, talk to Jamie Dimon." Diamond. Like, like, look at me, I'm just going in naive, you know, you know multi-billionaire. Multi like, like, maybe, maybe Jamie, Jamie Diamond will let me in on some, on some deal, deal flow. flow. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> and I'm just <laughs> like <laughs> banging <laughs> my hands, hands like, I want to meet with Jamie. And I start complaining online, and then they debank me for complaining. So, so I'm, I'm about, about to get debanked. Like, you, you need to go, go to... to... So the 99.999% of 15 million people on this planet don't know Jamie Dimon, have never heard of Jamie Dimon. So you have powerful people who happen to be of my faith or background. So what's your point? What does that mean? You can You can cast that net and paint that net like, I understand that Ye is hurt and that Kanye West is, or, you know, Ye is hurt and that people have wronged him. But there is, there are ways to deal with that. Anyone who, who has wronged you, you call out and you specifically say, this person did this, this person, and, 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 and I'm going to sue this person. Or you can say, uh, you know, at, in Tim Pool's broadcast i'm being i'm speaking in roundabout terms just for, for the guidelines but then you have instead of instead of yay saying 
these individuals, individual A, B, C, D, E, F, G, they've wronged me. He says, well, I'm going to cast the net, but you're, but you're casting a net. That's literally exactly what the 1930s and 1940s Germans did. And it is also what the people who committed atrocities during slavery, during every one of the most mon every monstrous moment in in you in in world history, they cast the net and they said, "Well, all of these people are inhuman. All of these people deserve no rights. All of these people have hurt me. All of these people." I mean, it's this is this is like basic logic one hundred and one that you learn in kindergarten. You can't go ahead and blame an entire group of people. You see, when I bring up Democrats in the middle of, in the beginning of this, the the same leap of logic Ye is taking is the same leap of logic that Jank Uger and Anna Kasparian took with Tim Pool when they said, well, because he opposes a certain ideology, a certain viewpoint, therefore Tim Pool, according to uh, the two pundits at TYT, influenced a madman to end people's lives. There's no evidence for that. There's also no evidence for that's a, that's an absurd leap of logic based on emotion. And based on emotion, Ye is blaming 14.8 to 15 billion people around the world for 20, 30 people, 40 people, let's say, that he knows that wronged him. So he should sue those 40 people. He should, or 30 people, or 10 people, or 15 people, whoever told him to take narcotics or uh, or stole money from him or did him wrong in terms of his family but doing this and then surrounding yourself with people saying yeah yeah it's them it's them you're not going to actually defend yourself you're going to actually bolster an opinion that has no reason no logic no no reality behind it. It is not rational or it's not based in reality to say it's them. These people are doing this. I am not doing anything. For example, I'm a Jewish American. I have nothing to do with Ye's personal life or business. I think he's brilliant. I agree with a lot of his politics. I would love to have a conversation with him, but I cannot, I, I have to at least explain. See, Lex Friedman and Tim Pool, they tried, like, they did explain to him in this manner, but I don't think that they, they might not have explained to him that, hey, you know what? The basis of his hurt or his viewpoint now is the same basis that the 1930s and 1940s Germans had to take everyone of my faith in all of Europe and end the lives in, of 70, 75% or mo more than 75% of, of innocent men, women, and children. Of course, I can be, I can speak in more poignant terms, but I'm trying to be my, I'm trying to address this issue as best I can in terms of in terms of YouTube policies. Trump's the bank, AXO, whatever, you gotta go. And I'm like, I've been trying to buy my own bank for the longest, and then we figured out how to get my own bank. It's like 50 million, 75 million. So I'm about to buy my own bank, but then, as you're about to take the money out, here comes Adidas with a $275 million bill for marketing funds that they agreed upon. Because I said to them, hey, I'm the marketing, give me the marketing fund. Yeah, but every one of these problems has nothing to do with me or with any person of my face. I So why should I be blamed? And that's the point. If you watch this channel, if you enjoy my viewpoint, it, it, and see, the thing is, when you have a society that makes so many leaps of logic, where you have like Democrats and people on Twitter, the former moderation team, making so many absurd leaps of logic, where emotion runs everything, perhaps Kanye West thought, hey, I can make an emotional statement that's un uh, unpopular, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and kind of 
twist things and say, hey, you know what? Well, there's a demographic group. You know, you talk about demographics in terms of voting this way, then why can't I cast the net around the people that have been hurting me? It's like, well, because you're accusing close to 15 million people for the sins of 20 or 30 or 40 people that you know. And that is not right. And that is the basis of anti-Semitism and, and everything and every other form of bigotry. Um, let's continue. Which proves by the response they got when they, you know, stole the designs and said, we're going to not call them Yeezys anymore. So this is what I was already fighting Adidas for. So I'm fighting Gap. Get out of Gap. Fighting Adidas. And then I deal with this little bit of noise from, you know, Zionism from the fashion world where they use this plant named Gabby, who's obviously like some kind of CIA agent, knows nothing about fashion. This is... So, like, I have no clue who this Gabby is. See, and, and also, I believe in a Jewish state. I am a Zionist. So what does that even mean? What does that even mean? I, I don't know what that means. And then you have a couple a couple of the two people that he was with, Milo and then Fuentes, saying, oh, well, you know what? Uh, um identity in a state and then well it's like the whole middle east is like that there's only one country for people of my religion the entire middle east is specific identities within you can look at the name so again i don't want to like this it's it's kind of, it's interesting because um i address that issue with the, in the spencer debate you can watch the last 20 minutes of it because that's the most important that's where i defeat his arguments but i mean i defeat his arguments from the moment we we debated but the last 20 minutes is very important this is a certain thing when someone can't dress you know that they're not like a fashion person okay so he different things and it was always like you go from one handler to the next handler to the next handler so now i'm having i i i get to actually learn how to run a company. a company. I get, I get to, learn to learn how to. Uh, uh, Pastor Nack was the name. From around different things. things. And it was, and all, it was all, I'm, not I'm not with, with it, bro. bro. I lost, I lost, the, the, I, I lost, I lost the, money the money for the freedom, freedom of speech. Of speech. And, that, and that, this is. So, um, what happens? What happens basically is. Oh, one second. What happens is. He ends up he ends up getting upset. Okay, so let's continue. American that we know that really deserves to run the country because everyone else, your boy DeSantis, Trump, whoever they 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 raise a peachy dish over on the Democrat side is is going to play the game. Here's what I was trying to get at. I, 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 you went right into the anti semite thing. thing. I, think I think it's something that should be talked, talked about, about, but if you, if you, if you start bringing this up, you're going to ask my opinion on it, I disagree with you. I didn't ask your opinion on it. You jumped into it. But I don't care about your opinion. I like your opinion on how we win an election, but I don't care about anybody's opinion. Bro, I lost. They tried to put me in jail. They blocked two billion dollars I had. Like what I told Fair. But when you say they, it wasn't me. It wasn't. I didn't do it. Why should I be blamed? That's, I think, the mentality that... I think that's the essence of what Ye should address. Because it's people of every culture, every background, that could suffer from this mentality. But this is not true. I didn't allow uh, President Obama to meet with Minister Farrakhan. And I actually listened to Minister Farrakhan's uh, speeches on certain political issues, actually. So I disagree with um, Minister Farrakhan on on certain political issues pertaining to Israel, for example. But um, there are things that I agree with him on. Like I don't. This here's the thing. Okay, he's bring he's going to bring up Rahm Emanuel, a Democrat. I I am not 
I don't. I disagree with Democrats on most things. Okay, and then he's going to bring up who else? Kushner, and I'm not sure if Kushner gave Trump great advice on everything. So it's like I think I don't know if he if he convinced himself or he's been convinced that all people of my background think the same way because this is not true. It's not true in any with any background. I'm sorry, I'm sorry just, just sometimes, sometimes I think about, about seven thoughts at one time. Because, because anything, anything I see, I come up with like seven answers to it. But, 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 I, but the, thing the thing is when I said my children, children the reason why my, my, my brain kind of blocked, blocked because it's like God, God is saying, saying you know, you know your, your children are going to be okay. You know, baby mamas got money, right? God is using me. He's breaking me down and removing all of the... You know, you know richest richest person, person, all of this, so I can serve him. him. Yeah, but you're not serving God by accusing people you don't know. That is serving the opposite person down below. You're not serving God by accusing innocent people and casting blame upon innocent people, children too, other people's children, other people's wives, other people's husbands, other people's families other people's mothers and fathers for the pain that you've experienced simply because you see somebody of a certain background and then you say, oh, well, I'm going to cast this net like a producer because that's what the 1930s and 1940s Germans did. And so you're not serving God. You're, you're at... I'm not saying that he's serving the person below, but I'm saying that his hurt is being twisted by people around him, specifically the two individuals that he brought to the Timcast interview. We can listen to the end of this. And the more and more those things are taken away from me, the more I can be empty and be a vessel and be able to be used. And right now it's like, you're not going to take... If, if, if we, we can't, can't you're, you're not going to take, take my pain, pain away, away, right? The Jewish, Jewish people, people say, say, no one is taking your pain away. It, you're always taking your pain away by saying that you're making a leap of logic and you're being irrational and you're being factually incorrect. But that doesn't mean that you weren't hurt by these people. Individuals. When I say these people, I'm not talking about the way you're talking about. I'm saying individuals. Individuals. Don King is an individual. Mike Tyson and Larry Holmes didn't say all African Americans took, you know, you know, mistreated them. They said Don King did. And so if there's more Don Kings in the music industry that happen to be of my faith, well, okay, then that's that just happens to be an industry, uh, if you want to say music, or perhaps other industries where there's a lot of people of my faith. But guess what? Statistically, there's going to be more people who are Christian. In every industry that, that Ye is talking about. And so, then he goes and says, well, you're not going to... And then you have Fuentes saying, yeah, well, why can't we just talk about it? <laughs> and it's like, well, because it's irrational and not logical. And, um, and I explain this in the Spencer debate. It's not logical to cast the net on up on the 99.999% of 15 million people who are absolutely innocent of anything that's done by a Jamie Dimon to Kanye West. Ye is a probably a beautiful human being, um, a good person to his friends, a good father, and a brilliant musician and artist. But he's made it fashionable to be, to cast everybody of my faith with the same brush. And it hasn't been fashionable since, since the 1930s and 1940s. So that's, that's frightening. And, and, and Trump, for all, and this is the thing, the absurd leaps of logic against Trump. Trump didn't know that Fuentes was at the, at the meeting, okay, or the dinner. 
That's Kanye's guest. And so Trump had nothing to do with that. He dined with, he dined with. Trump was the first president to sign an executive order combating anti-Semitism on college campuses. So, and he moved the embassy to Jerusalem and he negotiated the Abraham Accords. So, like, I agree with Kanye on Trump, but I wish that I could explain in a discussion with him why it's so detrimental. But again, he doesn't, his hurt and his pain are speaking now. And I don't, and it's not for me to say, but part of hurt and pain is how you react to people who want to do you harm. If Ye is allowing these people in his life and he's, he's giving them power over him, he needs to look in the mirror, not point fingers. Um, you could have cut, cut ties with these people. You could have sued them. You could have called them out individually, but you chose to accuse innocent people because you feel pain. But guess what? We all feel pain. Uh, at the end of the day, he's still talking about hundreds of millions of dollars that he has and starting a, you know, a bank and all of that. So anyway, give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Um, this is, uh, this is very interesting. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so very, very much.